in this one. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the another Celtic Mind podcast. We're going to make it a podcast, Lewis, because it will be yeah. more than a 10 minute video. Wasn't well, already a podcast, though? Probably, yeah, it's going into one, but mm. obviously we're going to discuss the latest on Roy Keane becoming the, li- like, it's not... He's the favourite, yeah, basically. Yeah, he's the favourite, he's the favourite for, obviously, the, the Celtic manager job. Um, well, we shouldn't really be calling it a manager now, it should be, like, head coach, because obviously we're getting a... A, well, um, a, a director of football. Yeah, so, yeah director of football. So, um, before we get into guys... Gums. Right, guys, before we talk about Roy Keane, we're going to talk about Scott Brown, Lewis. Have you heard about the news about Scott Brown? Yeah, he's looking favourite to be a Aberdeen's As, assistant manager. Yeah, so of course Aberdeen got their latest manager in, Stephen Glass from Atlanta, and also the US. Um, if Celtic let Scott Brown go, um, like this, after winning nine in a row in a quadruple treble, they have become more of a joke overnight than I thought, and I can't, you know, can't defend them anymore. This is somebody saying it. Yeah. Um, still love Celtic with all my heart, but come on, why should we be letting Aberdeen get him when we are literally crying out for a new coaching team and a manager, or a head coach, should say. Um, Aberdeen have not been missing a manager as long as us, and they have already found one and potentially um, got one of the our players up in the process. Get a grip, Celtic. Um, stop becoming a joke of a club from what we were the last se- from last season, you know. Um, <clears throat> I can point out this the what we've done this season, which has caused us not to win 10 in a row, Lewis, so we can go to the, the summer, lack of spending. Alright, we spent five, two or five million players, but come on, that was They're both flops. Yes. Um, <clears throat> laughed at a Europe. Right? Yep. Laughed at the League Cup by Ross County. Manager resigns and we put President Kennedy in charge and the, his plays instead of immediately replacing him, which, you know. Board member resigns, that's um, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Lost the 10. Not linked with any managers with. Um, concrete evidence, you know, of backing it. Um, you know, not winning old firm since the League Cup final in December 2019. What a start that is. That's not a good start either. Um, if we go to um, not quite qualif- not qualified for the Champions League since the Invincible season. That. <coughs> it's quite the start. Yeah. <coughs> and we've um, letting go of our most important players and not replacing them. Um, like Keane Tierney, Fraser Forster, Paddy Roberts, Armstrong, Bayata, so many more. Um, having the cheek to go, having the cheek to charge. Um, sixty. Oh, it's just been made official. Scott Brown's leaving at the end of the season. Officially posted by Celtic. That, that's actually a joke. That's actually a joke. That's a joke. That's an absolute joke. Well. And if that isn't Celt- enough, then you've <coughs> got a thank you, Bruni. Video. Celtic are an absolute joke of a club. That's a joke. A joke of a club. That's a disgrace to Celtic. I, I know I know. Dermot Desmond said a lot of players are going this summer. That's a disgrace Here to Scott Brown. Here is the top comments. Cheers, Wayne Screeton. Crying. Cheers. It's just a, that's a, that's a disgrace. Uh, as I was going on about... I know Scott Brown is manager as one yeah. of the other top comments. And that, I can I'd say this season, I know people have paid it right because we thought we were going to win 10 in a row. Having the cheek to charge 60 quid for a football strip, spending 6 million on disco lights that we don't qualify to use anyway, the buy, the bolly situation. This was only posted 26 minutes ago. Disgrace, absolute disgrace. Um, so, I can even go on further loose saying higher season ticket prices. Um, when fans were in stadium charging 30 or quid to watch us play St Mirren on a Tuesday night when 20 is plenty and 30 for Europe, not almost 60 quid. Letting the Green Brigade do whatever the hell they want, thinking they represent all fans, when in reality they're in their own wee bubble and think they control a Celtic Park, which is a fair point. Yeah. Not giving our most successful captain since Bell and McNeil the send-off he deserves, that is not a send-off. Get a grip Celtic man, I'm not saying goodbye to Bruni until it's confirmed what's well, confirmed now, but all my points still stand. There you go. That is some depressing news anyway. Um, you know, we can we go into the best points of Scott Brown this season, Lewis, since you've confirmed that already. Wait, or that, oh, sorry, I'm not meaning to be rude, but that is actually decent timing for <laughs> it, for, so we can get it on podcast. Yeah. That sounds bad, but yeah. I'm not trying to say Already that. a legend, one of the best Celtic players of all time, as I said, it will be the, the hardest pl- person to replace in Celtic, yeah. I think. 
Yeah, I'm going to um, just keep it out on the Instagram account Scott Brown, on Troy Yeah, Scott Brown started as a queer with Hibs and was transferred All right, in, another manager though. in May 2007 to for a fee of 4.4 million, the highest transfer fee between two Scottish clubs. Um, he was cap... You're not calling... What you're calling Celtic? <laughs> Co date of math, man! <laughs> not always call him. Nah, I'm not getting like call him. Don't call him! Oh, he's still call him! Call half. Calling real Canadian superstore. That's a superstore, yeah. <laughs> That's where the the head office is. Oh. Right. Anyway. In Canada. Yes. Um, he has captained the club to nine consecutive championships since 2011 to 12 season and successive trebles in 2016-17, 2017-18 and 2018-19. Brown has been Celtic's captain since February 2010 as a, and Jesus. has more European appearances for the boys than any any other player. Since 2014, Brown has been ambassador for the Homeless World Cup. Homeless World Cup, yep. Yeah. 2016-27, top Champions League showcase soccer, Scott Brown base card. There you go. Um, and yeah, um, it is a shocking that you see Scott Brown go like that. Wow, it's that. That is just a, um, you know. <sighs> yeah, everybody's posting that. That's a. Sh that's, a, a, that's an absolute joke of a, a Celtic. That's Celtic. Roy Keane hasn't uploaded anything on his Instagram. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> about oh, anything. Brown, sorry. So, Roy Keane only has a post from five days ago saying, My granddaughter idolises me. I told her to join the queue. It just didn't happen, did it? Well, yeah. Um, well, you know, 14 years at the club. Quite impressive. Quite impressive, as you say, yes, but we Don't should not. When we're looking for, you know, he could be an inspiration for next season of the rebuild, and we let him go like that. And this displays every trophy he ever won with us. That'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> just get the thumbnail. Um, you know, what else can we say about that? Is just disgraceful from Celtic. Um, Moving on to the point, Lewis Roy Keane being the favourite now to the the Celtic manager. This title is going to be. No. <laughs> this video is going to be Scott Brown leaving the end of the season. Roy Keane, please no. Yeah, right. so right? that's good. Right? What? Oh, right. If these rumours are true, right? Okay, Scott Brown's going right at the end of the season, which is as I've, I've, I've displayed the, the oh, atrocious, right? Why are we getting close to Roy Keane? He has not managed. All right, he's been assistant manager at Ipswich. When has he been successful? Right? He wasn't even successful at Celtic, to be honest. Was he? Uh, he no. was only successful at Sunderland. Yes, Sunderland. We're not going to be the next but, Sunderland here. At that point, he was already 10 years behind on his tactics. <sighs> yeah, his tactics are absolute. That was about 20 years ago. I, really, I don't know how long ago it was. I've not read yeah, up on it. Yeah, he last managed 2010, so you're right, 10 years ago. Mm, he's been ten. assistant manager for Yeah, last like season, year. yeah. That was that, yeah. At Twitch. Um, <laughs> so... Still, Lewis, it's less than 100 days till we obviously the Champions League qualifiers. Yeah. Scott Brown's leading at the end of the season. Um, Roy Keane, favourite manager. Um, no director of football in. Celtic is literally in a crisis for the next season already. Ayer might goes. leave. Ayer, yeah, Ayer probably going to leave. We, we, we discussed this in the last podcast, guys. Um, if you haven't checked that out, go and check it already. Lewis, again, why are we going for the, the why are we going for Roy Keane? Why? I don't, I, well, we shouldn't, I know Celtic fans, like most of the Celtic fans won't accept, won't accept the manager if he's not a Celtic man, but we must move from this era of Celtic being, like Celtic fans being managers. Brendan Rodgers, right? Brendan Rodgers, he wasn't a Celtic fan of course before obviously he came to Celtic, right? We went for him, and what did we do? We won trebles, we went invincible, you know? Yeah. You know, we won seven trophies in a row thanks to him. Um, so I'll I'll say seven and a half because he won his technically eight and then he left you when he the season. But um, so it's just a, a, why 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 man? And oh, an interesting fact as well, just uh, guys, uh, express the pain of every Celtic fan out there. Stephen Glass, um, he started his career at Hibs with Scott Brown actually, so maybe that's potential as well. But we shouldn't be letting him go, as I say. Um, yeah. Oh, it's just so annoying. It is really annoying. Um, Disappointing. I mean, so. Oh, my volume's up. I had no idea. <laughs> um, 
So, Lewis, as I said, I know you, we're obviously on, everybody surely is on an Eddie Howe train, right? Because he's not obviously abandoning Rodgers, right? He's not a Celtic but fan. He did but he keep going with the yes, Premier League for five years. Yes. He's signed some great players down there, Nathan Ake. He's went to Man City now. I know he's not had the best of games, but, you know. You link the podcast and the Celtic. <laughs> Go in the comments and link the, 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 the channel. And <laughs> um, You know. The man's had one post. The Roy Keane. No, Eddie Howe. Uh, um, we all want Eddie Howe to come, or Hesse March. Uh, yes, he March. We just want someone who will Somebody get us the me goods. To my link, my YouTube link. <laughs> um, so, as I say, guys, um, subscribe, like. Um, we're not finishing it. I'm just saying that but we need. I see on the new Liam or seven yeah. on your other channel. I don't have another channel anymore. Oh, I, I yeah. did get no. I don't know. Um, as I say, guys, um, comment down below, guys. What is your reaction to this breaking news? It's just come out in the last couple of minutes of time. There, um, you know, it's just when Celtic, you know, this rebuilding the summer, obviously, it's going to be the. The most important because next season, if Rangers win this the league again, they're right through to the Champions League next season, which Rangers will get all their money back. They could get it back this season if we don't qualify because we're we're currently in a status where you know Scott Brown's leaving. As I said, we have hardly any players left in our team by the end of June or the summer. Sorry, we need to sign players first of all. We need to get a man, a, a, a head coach, and a director of football in. What is this situation at Celtic? They've they've came up with statements the other day. Des Des Desmond saying. Um, they're going through behind the scenes interviewing people. As I said, that Roy Keane was interviewed. Um, we, don't, we don't know too much further than that. But we need something that will win us the league next season. And it's is it going to be SA March? Is it going to be um, Eddie Howe? We want it to be Eddie Howe or a SA March to get the youth up as well as we dis as we'd said on um, what you call it? as I said on what you call it? Monday's. Um, podcast there where we discussed um obviously youth potential youth players that have been coming up in Neil Lennon's era or should I say Celtic's era when have we seen the last good youth player as I said since Kieran Tierney I know Connor it Hazard it's right been done. but yeah um as I said since Connor okay Connor has a goalkeeper right but Kieran Tierney's standard as a player outfield player Lewis yeah. we have not seen one good good player out of that youth playing other than Hazard yeah as I said out playing player uh, not uh, outfield player sorry um and you look at as I said Salzburg, Hesse March, they're producing one every season, every year, sorry. You know what I mean? So yeah, you've pr sometimes multiple. Yes, you? multiple. Um. So, well, well, we've got now we've got a big a, not not really a hill to climb. We need a mountain to climb now. You know Scott Brown leaving. You know what I thought if a new manager came in, he might have you know asked him to be a assistant coach maybe, or you know something today with Celtic. Celtic have I made mean, offered them something to inspire next season as a rebuild but that is just a big disappointment really that is a very big disappointment to hear guys um, as I said please subscribe like guys if you're enjoying the podcast this is episode 5 um, it's just a, I, I, don't, I don't believe Celtic I really don't no, absolute, joke, absolute joke of a club so we are to let Celtic uh, to let Celt Scott Brown go wow He'll be a player coach with Aberdeen, so we'll probably face him next season. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's more like he's retiring, but they should. It might not even be that. All they've said is that he's leaving. There's a chance he might go and play somewhere else. That's what I'm saying. He's playing at Aberdeen. Ah, I thought he was going to be the assistant manager. Well, uh, assistant yeah. coach, player, player coach. Ah, right. Player coach. You know, Aberdeen have announced it as well. Right? Here's a wee bit about Scott Brown here. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on guys, but I'll leave you. Um to same guys. Yep, I haven't been announced up. So I've already put I've written. Oh, did Celtic put a video out? Is that what you're saying? Uh, they put a video out on their Instagram. They're showing some stuff about Brown. I never watched the full thing, obviously. Mm. Alright, guys. Um, I'll leave you with obviously Scott Brown. Subscribe, like, Lewis, yeah. you know, put the fingers crossed. 
we see a good yeah. head coach can the football as director of football. He obviously, we're doing these podcasts yeah. every so often. We'll be doing them throughout the summer, of course. Yeah. Either, obviously, Lewis coming here or on Discord, of I course. I don't forget to hope. Scott Brown doesn't yes. snap one of our players' legs yes. from playing for Aberdeen. Or, you know, alright, best of luck to obviously Scott Brown to see him Aberdeen, yeah. but just it's just something we don't want to see, but yeah. Goodbye. Um, oh, yeah. Wait, no, I said that too early. <laughs> uh, great. The one time I It's a club like Celtic, they don't want to lose, they want to win everything. I'm here now as a Celtic player and I hopefully give them a good few years of my life and hopefully become a Celtic legend as well. I enjoy working hard, it's part and parcel of my game. I honour everyone that comes in, I respect everyone that comes in and I get on with pretty much most people as well. As being captain as well, you kind of, I've kind of grew into the role. For me, I love, I love the club, I love playing in front of 60,000, I love winning games, I love winning trophies and that's why I came here.